Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, business delegate design pattern uh, implementation. Here uh, uh, I will show the sample code of uh, business delegate design pattern and I will also show you the class diagram of the sample code uh, which I am going to show. Uh, before watch this video, uh, please log into my channel and watch uh, business delegate design pattern introduction and uh, business delegate design pattern class diagram and uh, sequence diagram video tutorial where I have explained what is uh, business delegate design pattern, what is the use of uh, business delegate design pattern. I have explained class diagram and sequence diagram. So first watch those uh, tutorials and then come, come and watch this tutorial so that uh, you will understand uh, this tutorial very clearly. So here I have uh, shown what is a class diagram of uh, sample code which I am going to show. This is a class diagram and uh, here you can see business service interface it has a do processing uh, method uh, this uh, interface is implemented by uh, jms service and ejb service okay and uh, left side you can see business lookup uh, and uh, it has uh, get business service uh, method uh, here uh, we have to pass uh, uh, service type as a string uh, so based on the service type passed it will do the lookup and uh, it will return uh, corresponding business service object to business delegate. Suppose if we pass uh, a service type as uh, JMS, then this method will return uh, JMS business service object to business delegate. Suppose if we pass uh, EJB as a service type, uh, then this method will uh, do the lookup of uh, EJB business service uh, object and it will return the EJB business service object to the business delegate. <coughs> and uh, this business delegate uh, uh, it uses the lookup service to get the business service object once uh, it get the business service object uh, it will access the method of uh, business service object okay so that will be performed by uh, do task method and it has uh, uh, so here do task method as parameter as service type so here you have to pass the type of uh, service you want to access so it can be ejb or jms in this example okay and uh, client uh, it just access the business delegate uh, object okay suppose uh, say if uh, client want to access uh, jms uh, business service object uh, do processing method the client will uh, call this do task method by passing jms then uh, what business delegate will do is it will call uh, get business service uh, method of this business lookup by uh, by passing the jms okay then this this uh, get service method will do the uh, lookup of uh, jms business service object and it will get the business jms business service object and it will return to the do task method then once uh, the business delegate get the jms business service object it can uh, invoke the method of uh, jms business service object so it will invoke uh, basically do processing method of the jms business service object we will see the sample code in uh, eclipse i will show you so here uh, you can see the java class uh, which are involved in this uh, business delegate project so first we will see a uh, business service interface and the uh, JMS service and EJB service business classes. So you can see a uh, business service uh, interface. It has to do processing method and uh, EJB service and JMS service, which uh, implement business service interface and provide uh, implementation of do processing method. Okay. So do processing. We are just printing processing task by invoking EJB service here. Processing task by invoking JMS service. And the next class is uh, business lookup. So the business lookup has a get business service method based on the service type passed. Uh, it will return the corresponding uh, business service object it will do the lookup and uh, return the corresponding business service object if we pass ejb then it will return the ejb business service object if we pass jms then it pass it uh, returns the jms uh, business service object 
next one is uh, business delegate class and uh, business delegate class has to do task method uh, you have to pass uh, service type here so based on the service type passed uh, it will uh, do the lookup uh, using the uh, business lookup uh, object right so once it get the business service uh, object uh, it is just invoking the business service object uh, do processing so it, either it will invoke uh, jms business service object do processing method or uh, ejb uh, business service object do processing method based on the service type passed and the final class is uh, client okay so it just act, it create the business delegate object and it is accessing the business delegate access uh, de business delegate uh, object uh, do task or uh, uh, do task method okay so i will just run the code uh, you can see the output here okay so first uh, what it is printing is invoke the business delegate by passing the service type as ejb so first what we are doing is we are creating the business delegate object and we are calling business delegate object do task method by passing the ejb so it will call the do task method so what we here what we will get is ejb as a service type then using the ejb we are doing the lookup so this will return the ejb business service object that you can see here ejb business service object so once we get the ejb business service object it is invoking the do processing of ejb business service object so you can see here so in this case uh, we got um, ejb business service object so it will call ejb service processing task by invoking the ejb service that you can see here same way uh, second uh, the client is uh, invoking uh, two task method by passing the jms okay so you can see uh, we got the jms uh, service object after uh, lookup in business delegate then using the jms business service object we have called the do pro, uh, do processing method of uh, jms business service object it just print the processing task by invoking the jms service okay so do task is called here and here jms is coming as a string so based on the jms uh, string we are doing the lookup so business service object we got here so we pass the jms so what we got is jms business service object then uh, we are calling jms business service object do processing method so it just print the processing task by invoking jms service <coughs> so this is a sample uh, code of uh, business delegate design pattern and uh, i have put all this sample code in my uh, blog called ramj2eblogspot.in so if you want to get a sample code uh, you can you can log into my uh, blog spot and you can get the sample code and uh, this is about uh, business delegate design pattern implementation and thanks for watching bye